I am Dr. Sri Ram Ramalingam, Medical Director, Pranya Netralaya, located at Artinagar, specialized in cataract, refractive, glaucoma, and squint surgery. Former consultant at Shankar Netralaya, Chennai. Terry Jim is a pinkish, triangular, non-cancerous growth in the medial or the inner part of the eye. It usually starts in the white part of the eye, which is called as a scleral part of the conjunctiva, and it grows towards the black part or to the cornea. Growth of this pterygium may be very slow. It may take few years to grow. Occasionally, it may grow very fast. What is the cause of pterygium? It is unknown, but usually it is said to occur due to exposure to ultraviolet radiations of the sun. This may not be true in all cases. Occasionally, it can occur because of dust or exposure to pollution. Usually, pterygium, as I said, grows very slowly. The pterygium initial stages may not require any treatment. A doctor, your doctor, may prescribe you lubricating eye drops and a mild steroid if the pterygium is inflamed. But one needs to wear protective glasses, especially complete protection from the ultraviolet radiation in the form of ultraviolet radiation protective sunglasses. If one is going out or if one is exposed to too much of dust or pollution, one should cover the eye with appropriate eyewear. If the pterygium is growing rapidly and it encroaches upon the cornea, this requires a surgery. Surgery is the only treatment for pterygium which is encroaching onto the black part of the eye which is called as the cornea. And surgery consists of not just excising the pterygium, but it has to be combined with autograft. So pterygium excision has to be combined with an autograft. The autograft may be a small tissue removed from the same eye or occasionally it can be combined with what is called as an amniotic membrane graft which a graft is taken from the uh, amniotic membrane is placed over the excised pterygium. This usually is done under topical anesthesia or under local anesthesia and usually takes two to three days to recover completely and one can be back to normal activity within three to four days. So pterygium excision with autograft is a very simple procedure and it is very very gratifying usually get good results after pterygium excision there is no medical treatment available to dissolve this pterygium surgery is the only treatment but surgery depends upon whether it needs to be done depending upon how much it has encroached onto the cornea initial stages can be just managed with lubricating eye drops